Hey guys, this is Oddball Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today we are on the free to play, but we could be on the main account. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be talking about the June Fusion. Like you might have already seen videos out there of you know people already showing the kit or saying that this is a skip, this is 100% a skip, and all that. So you know what? I'm going to tell you a different perspective, or at least you know from my point of view, why this is not a skip. And while we'll be going for this fusion on, you know, both my accounts on the free to play and on the main account. But, bef you know, before into before I jump into the reasons, let's look at the kit and let's look at the champion. So the champion is a Skinwalker Legendary Support Spirit Champion. Name's Great Hoof Loriaka. That's the name. Let me move myself to the other side. So I'm not going to go through what Raid said. We're just going to look at the skill ourselves and, you know, see what, what our impression is. What do we think about this champion? So first of all, the A1. Deprive. Text one enemy two times. Each hit has a 50% chance when booked of stealing one random buff. So I don't know. Maybe Arena could be interesting. But, you know, with Polymorph being a thing, she might not be as useful. Maybe for Hydra. This could be interesting for Hydra. You know, she's kind of like a Cantra. It's Cantra is the same thing on the A1 double head chance to steal a buff. She could be interesting for there. So, you know, this is not, not the worst, I suppose. It, I, we've seen worse day one. <laughs> then on the A2, Great Hoof Stampede attacks all enemies, has a 100% chance when booked, placing 50% decrease resistant debuff for two turns. Fill this champion's turn meter by 10% for each decrease resistance debuff placed by this skill. So if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly the same thing as Deliana. So Del Deliana places, uh, but it's no decrease resist. Deliana has it with block buffs actually, so it's a bit different. But still, decrease resistance is, you know, so far there's not many places I can think of this being a, uh, you know, a good thing. But still, being on a three turn cooldown, only three books required here. To make it 100% plus feeling her own, I'm supposed to she, <laughs> feeling the third meter by 10%. So, you know, if you go against a normal wave, that's 50% third meter increased. If you go against Hydra, that's 40% third meter inc increase when, when the champion places this. And this kind of means that she's going to rotate so fast that the decreased resistance, if you're using it in Hydra, will basically be on all of the time. So, you know, this could be interesting for that. Then we have the A3, Dance of War. Places a block debuffs buff on all allies for two turns. Also fills the turn meter of all allies by 20%. Okay, so this one goes down to a three turn cooldown. Again, it's not the worst. <clears throat> but I don't know. There's there's two things about this one. It's, it's a different one. It's a pretty good one. I suppose, again, this could be something maybe interesting for Arena. Maybe it, it could be good for... Uh, Hydra, you know, turn meter fill is not to be slept on. It's pretty huge for Hydra. Block debuffs, again, can be helpful as long as you have a mischief tank or, you know, block buffs to make sure this is not stolen. This can be good. There's two things I want to talk about this one, and that's, first of all, this could have been so much different in the sense of, like, you know, one, keep it on a sweet and cool down like it is, remove the turn meter fill, and then, you know, you could have a, a clan boss champion, just, I don't know, add the shield or something like that. That could have been so much better. Or uh, what's the other side I was thinking? I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, the other the other option this could have been better would have been cleanses all debuffs on all uh, allies and then places block debuffs. So, you know, kind of like what the Riho does, but Riho also brings a heal. So I don't see why this one could have not been like that, but I guess it's something different. There's not many champions in the game that do block debuffs on Twitter cooldown that also do turn meter. So unfortunately, because of the turn meter, it might be hard to speed tune in clan boss. That's, that's the only sad thing. But maybe, you know, maybe the big brains of Sephira and Deadwood Jedi could come up with a tune. They can make this work, you know, this this could be really interesting. Like I said, being on a three turn cooldown for two turns means you can get yourself affinity friendly and block the stun if you're using this. And then we have the passive hoof beats. Fills this champion's turn meter by 5% each time an ally buff is removed, transferred, stolen, or expires. What this one tells me is that she's gonna get a ton of turns. Like turn meter on the A2, turn meter on the passive. So this champion is gonna get tons of turns, and she might actually be pretty effective for Hydra. That's that's what I'm thinking. She could be really interesting for Hydra. And you know what? Overall, it's not a bad kit. It's I guess it's something that at first look you'd say it's a skip. That that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. You know, first thing that I'm looking at this kit, I'm like, yeah, it's not impressive. I'm gonna skip it. But let me put it, put it like this. And now we're gonna get into the reason why I'm not skipping this. And they are three reasons. 
first of all, on the free-to-play account, the my skinwalkers, because I just had this one today, unfortunately, I cannot show it because I use my keys, but my skinwalker team right now, if I go by faction, is pretty lacking. I have a uh, Razzlevarg, what can't even see him, Razzlevarg, and then some random... Random epics, nothing too great in here, you know, I have a flash manga, I have this, I forgot, Lemibor, something like that. So I'm lacking some champions for, for this faction. And because my end goal on the free-to-play account is Lydia, another legendary, even if I don't six-star her, even if I don't book her, her kit could be good. Because she has that AoE, she can be a stance champion, or she can be, you know, a regen set to keep our turn meter going, keep cleansing those debuffs, keep putting block debuffs on us. You know, this, this, she can be pretty good for the free to play. And then when it comes to the main account, well, if you think about like this, how many champions do you know in the game that do AoE decrease resistance? There's not that many. That's the thing. So, what I'm thinking is, I even have the page here from hellhades.com. So, the champions that do AoE decrease resistance right now are Nari the Lucky, which again was a previous fusion. I have him on the, on the main account. Then Supreme Kale, which is a Void Legendary. I do not have. Then we have Theresque, which I think, is she 100%? Let me just double check, I'm not sure she's 100%. <clears throat> Let me see, uh, AoE hit. Yeah, it's not. this one's not 100%, it's 75% chance to place decrease resistance. Okay, and then the last one that we have is Deliana, which has a decrease resistance AoE, but it's conditional. Her, her AoE decrease resistance works if there's block buffs on the target she does the decrease resistance first. If not, that does not work. So, you know, she can still be good enough. She brings some extra utility maybe for Hydra with the block buffs and all that. Good passive. Like, she's a pretty good champion. I used her in my Hydra team and I was not, you know, I was pretty impressed with her. But if you look at all of these champions, you see the thing, guys. Force, force, force. So three of the four champions that do AoE decrease resistance are force. So uh, what's her name again? Uh, Great Hoof. Let's just call her Great Hoof because I forgot the other name. She can be really good because she's spirit affinity and brings some other stuff in there. And I have a strong feeling that, you know, maybe in the next six months, we might see the next Hydra head coming out. And at the same time, the next difficulty where, you know what, the stats might ramp up again. You know, we might need higher accuracy, higher resist, higher stuff like that. So she could definitely fill a slot in a Hydra team with the skit like I said, block debuffs, turn meter boost, AOE decrease resist, chance to remove, you know, to steal buffs if, if they do, you know, land or if the Hydra heads place buffs. So she might actually be useful in the future or there might be another content that they're going to release that's going to have the accuracy required requirement be so high that she might be crazy. And that's, that's the reason why I'm not going to skip, like I said, not on the free to play, not on the main account, but what do you guys think do you guys you know do you guys think like everybody else it's it's definitely a skip or are you thinking it might be worth going for because you know what why not oh yeah another reason that's extremely important is the fact that it's a fragment fusion so it's kind of the same way that we had the jetney the giant it's going to be a fragment fusion and usually fragment fusions are so much easier than classic fusions you know because in classic ones you need to level up 16 rares to to 30 Upgrade them to four star, level them to four uh, to forty, then fuse it, then upgrade the four other ones to four, and so on. You know, in ascend, and it's it's a lot of a headache. If this was a classic fusion, I would have skipped on both of them, May, or maybe still didn't done it on the on the free to play. But because it's a fragment, you know, it makes it a little bit easier. And why not? Also, you know, it's it's why not? It's a legendary, and her kit can be interesting i'm not saying you know by no means and i think you should all go for it it's amazing she's crazy no but just think about what i just said think about how many decreased resistance champions are in the game think about future content that can still drop because there's tons of things that ray can still do and her kid might actually be useful for this one but anyway this is my take on the fusion guys as always if you do enjoy my content don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see when i upload next and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys